All right, guys. Press conference done. No riding for you today. Mm -hmm. uh, does that change anything, or is like, do you look forward to press day riding, or is it you know, give or take, doesn't really matter to you? Uh, for for Anaheim one, it's actually kind of nice. You can shake some cobwebs out, but uh, we don't get it this year, so <laughs> is what it is. Um, yeah, everything's Saturday. See I, how it goes. I like it. What about, uh, are you impressed with how the track looks after the rain we've had here in Southern California? I am. I did not expect it to look the way it is. I mean, the transitions are still going to be pretty soft and wet, I think, and, and rutted. But overall, I couldn't believe how dry the rest of the ramp faces looked. Yeah. Um, I thought this was going to be Lake Anaheim, but uh, it looks pretty good. Nice. All right. And uh, you've set, you, you said that this isn't for sure your last season, but that you also haven't promised that you're racing next season. So where's your mindset at on that for people back home? They don't yeah. know what to think. Um, well, for people back home, I would just say I only have 2023 Supercross signed my contract, and that's where I'm at right now. And it's literally a season-by-season season thing right now. Um, and that's where I'm at. And Yamaha is you know, doing their best to try to get you to race outdoors as well, or are they being, you know, uh, nice with your wishes? Well, they're, they're nice with my wishes because that's what I have in my contract right now okay. is this series, Supercross. So, um, I mean, obviously they would like me to race motocross, but I just, I don't have that in, in my mind right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Okay, and then new motorcycle. Um, everybody knows that it's a challenge to show up to a new season with a new motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just not copy paste, it's, it's a whole different program. I've ridden, you know, back to back 22 versus 23, it's a big difference. Yep. Um, you've talked about how much lighter it is, and there's people out there that don't think the weight matters so much. They think a heavy motorcycle works just as good as a, a light bike, but I mean, mm -hmm. what, what do you think the benefits are and what's the differences? Uh, on the track, in the air, in corners, in ruts. What's the difference between 22 versus 23, heavy versus lighter? Yeah, uh, I mean, in my opinion, the, the I I think the lighter the lighter bike's gonna be better. Yeah. I mean, I haven't raced it yet, but yeah. I think it's gonna be better. That's what I the first thing that popped in my head when I jumped on the bike. I'm like, oh wow, you know, having weight cut off this bike is a big deal um, for say like leaning into a turn, starting initiation of a turn, and even feeling lighter in the air. Um, our 22 was was obviously fantastic, but uh, if I had to pick one thing of this motorcycle, the weight savings is is a is a positive for me. Nice, nice. And then uh, Colorado, Florida, um, wherever you've been spending your time in this off season, and how nice is it to have an option like that where you could go ride completely different dirt with a good mm -hmm. track? So I started in uh, in Florida, and then went to Colorado, and then back to Florida, and then to California. So all kind of bounce place. all over. It's been fun. It made the off season kind of short because I was just always on the move, going somewhere. Yeah. And then uh, uh, raced, you know, those two um, overseas races in Cardiff and in Bercy. So um, went by fast. I'll tell you that. Uh, and yeah, we're here. Does that refresh you at all to like be able to race and do different things during the off season, or does that maybe uh, does that overwhelm you that we're already starting 23 again? Because I know <laughs> I know the off season felt short for me, and I'm just a media guy. I, yeah. You know. Yeah, I, it's 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 that what you just said. It's it was cool to go travel places, but at the same time, like Anaheim one is here really fast. But uh, I think it could be good for me because it's not like I got like rusty in my race craft or anything. So um, it's like I just kept racing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, Roxon, you, I mean, everybody saw him ride all kinds of different bikes. <laughs> you didn't ride different bikes, but you got to go race different series, mm -hmm. uh, race different events, and then ride different tracks. Does it help to mix it up like that? Or is it, uh, I, yeah. I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. It just um, it, it just builds your experience with conditions and tracks and riding and racing and, and all that above. And you can't replace that, you know? Yeah. You can't replace uh, uh, racing on different surfaces, um, different stadiums, all, all that different those different things so it's just like you're always learning trying to improve yourself okay and then when you're Eli Tomac you've won the Supercross championship you won the outdoor championship won motocross nations and then you're training what technique drill because I love focusing on technique and mm -hmm. how to become a better rider what technique drills are you doing at home that the average rider can take and practice themselves like what, what's your favorite technique thing what's what's the favorite thing you like to work on and focus on during your riding um my favorite thing lately is actually just keeping feet on pegs 
I feel like it's kind of evolving that way. I mean, I think you saw that with us in motocross, yeah. is keeping your feet on the pegs more often than sticking your leg out. Yeah. I feel like it just makes you more of a, a stable platform yeah. on the bike and kind of like a stronger, just more solid platform. Yeah. Um, so it, it doesn't always work everywhere, but I think if you can dial that in and put it in your program a little bit, um, it's it's beneficial. What's the beneficial part of it besides being solid on the bike? Like, what can people gain from doing that? Well, I, I personally love it as well. Yeah. It's just there's there's less movement. There's, there's less movement. Maybe there's there's less weight transfer. You know, hanging a leg out. It's like if you don't have to hang your leg out, why do it? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, in it kind of just have to work on your balance with it but once you get it dialed in you're like whoa this works yeah yeah, yeah. especially corners before whoop sections right staying level, yeah staying yeah, level yeah. And, your, and your foot's on the peg already ready to, to click the next gear if you need if you need be and um yeah awesome all right well thank you for your time good luck all right thanks Sweet.